You're faithfully working on religious committees. Giving out pamphlets and flyers mm -hmm. to build up some religious group. Mm -hmm. Have you ever stopped to go to the book of scripture yeah. to find out whether that religion exists in here? I did. Do you go to an ankle doctor to get heart surgery? Mm. No, no. Do you know the difference, brothers and sisters? from the devil's religion Jesus. and God. Amen. Follow me in the scriptures. In 1 Kings chapter 19 and at verse 11. Listen closely at the language of the scriptures. And behold, the Lord passed by. The Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. Great and strong wind rent the mountains. And tore them up, shook them up. Mm -hmm. But what? And break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. A lot of activity. Right. Hallelujah. It broke in pieces the rocks in whose presence? Before the Lord. Oh, the Lord didn't know it. That's right. Another spirit was busy while the Lord was observing. That's right. It was done before the Lord. Before, that's right. He was just watching. Amen. Watching that spirit and watching his prophet. That's right. Saying, is he going to move? Amen. Because the prophet was already told, you go up there. Yes. Because I'm coming. Right. But uh, I want you to be able to identify me. That's right. You got to have knowledge to properly identify truth. Go ahead. What was the devil objective? I want to see, can I move this man of God? That's right. See, because Elijah had knowledge, mm -hmm. he was able to distinguish what's God mm -hmm. and what was not that's right the purpose of the truth of God telecast if you watch it I promise you you will learn more by the telecast than all your years mm -hmm. going to church amen these are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Brother Solomon teaches us by God's permission he noticed that men had a lot of ways that's right they were loyal to them mm -hmm. and dedicated to them that's right I want to take you to school this afternoon mm -hmm. we don't have no pre-planned sermons I never went to Bible school brothers and sisters I never did no School don't make preachers. Mm -hmm. There's God to make a preacher. That's right. That's why we contradict your pastor. <laughs> I didn't come out the school he went to. I had the best teacher. Yes. I was taught by the best mind. Go ahead. God Almighty is my teacher. That's right. Listen. Proverbs chapter 14 and at verse 12. Give chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 14 and at verse 12. What is it? There is a way. Follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, friends and enemies. Amen. The book says, There is a way. Give chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 14, we're at verse 12. Listen. There is a way. There is a way. Which seemeth right unto a man. Amen. But what is the result? But the end thereof are the ways of death. Brothers and sisters. Would you not want to know whether you, what you're in is right or seem right? That's right. See, the human family today take this nonchalant attitude about religion. Yeah. <clears throat> so they say, you got your religion, I got mine. Mm -hmm. Don't push your religion on me. I ain't got religion. No. I got God. That's right. <clears throat> See, now, I strongly advise you, mm -hmm. <clears throat> whatever you profess to be this afternoon, you that are watching in Africa, Spain, Australia, Germany, Soviet Union, Ghana, South America, Canada, mm -hmm. Australia, New Zealand, mm -hmm. 
Mongolia, and wherever you are. Wherever you are. Everybody's religion. Yeah. Supposed to be the same thing. That's right. Everybody. Talk back to me. Everybody. Same. When God sent the prophets, mm -hmm. He sent them out to be the same thing. Same thing. The book says He spake mm -hmm. by the mouth of His holy prophets. That's right. He didn't care what color you were. No, he didn't care. If you was white and God wanted you, he made you a holy prophet. That's right. If you was black and God wanted you, he made you a holy prophet. That's right. If you was light-skinned, brown-skinned, fat, skinny, short, even if you are a dwarf. That's right. If God wanted you, yeah. he put some big words oh, yeah. in the mouth of that dwarf. That's right. That's right. If you are Hispanic brother yeah. and God wanted you, mm -hmm. God made you a holy, holy prophet. prophet. That's right. That means God wanted you to reflect him. And to properly reflect him, you need his character. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to me? Go ahead. Go ahead. All these new religions. New religions. That's on the scene today. Mm -hmm. Where did they come from? Amen. How can you come and be legitimate today, years later, hmm. after the Lord said, mm -hmm. Be holy? Be holy. If you profess to be anything else, mm -hmm. who gave you the permission? That's right. Because whatever you profess, you're supposed to be what he tells you to be. That's right. Would you not agree? Amen. Would you agree that everybody's supposed to be what God said? That's right. And if you're not what God said, then ask yourself, who told you to be what you are? What you are. Amen. Who told you? Your mama? Go ahead. Your daddy? Yeah. Your granddaddy? Yeah. It is written. Who told you to be these things? Who told you to be a Mormon? Go ahead. Who told you to be an elf? Who told you to be a Mason? Go ahead. Who told you to be non-denominational? Who told you to be Pentecostal? Who told you to be apostolic? Who told you to be Catholic? Who told you to be African Methodist Episcopal? Go ahead, brother. Who told you? Who told you? Your mama ain't good enough. No. Your daddy, they ain't good enough. Oh, no. Who told you? Think. You coughing up all this cash, giving it to somebody. Oh, yeah. Who told you? Go ahead. You're faithfully working on religious committees, giving out pamphlets and flyers mm -hmm. to build up some religious group. Have you ever stopped to go to the book of scripture yeah. to find out whether that religion exists in here? I did. Do you go to an ankle doctor to get heart surgery? Mm, no, no. Go ahead, brother. You go on to the wrong one. That's right. So before you brag about what you are, and before you try to recruit others, others to be what you are. That's right. Shouldn't you be sure what you're in mm -hmm. is the same thing that God is in? God is in. You can't determine what you're in represent God because of the crowd. No. Ah, uh -uh. Jesus had 12. That's right. And God was with them. That's true. We look at something and say it's of God because it's a mega church. Right. That's right. And we say God has to be in that. Has to be in that. There was a prophet named Elijah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this brother, he was the messenger of God, mm -hmm. and he was up on a mountain one day. 
And it was said the Lord is going to pass by. Right. What do you mean? The Lord was going to deal with the prophet. That's right. And the devil knew it. That's right. So the devil test. Yes, he did. The wisdom of the prophet. Yes, he did. By trying to imitate the deeds of God. That's right. To see can the prophet differentiate. That's it. What was God? That's it. And what was of the devil? That's right. Do you know the difference, brothers and sisters, from the devil's religion Jesus. and God? Amen. Follow me in the scriptures. In 1 Kings chapter 19 and at verse 11. 1 Kings 19, 11. And he said, go forth. Go forth. And stand upon the mount before the Lord. And? And behold, the Lord passed by. Who passed by? The Lord passed by. The Lord. The Lord God of creation. Amen. He passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. Now. If you just read that right away, right away, as a great and strong wind rent the mountain, you would say right away, the Lord did it. Mm, that's right. Mm -mm. That's See, right. one place it told you the Lord passed by. Passed by. It didn't tell you he'd done anything yet. That's true. I guess let you know he was around. That's right. But he didn't do nothing yet. That's right. He's there observing, mm -hmm. watching. Because he knew he was not the only one there. That's right. There was another source there that was against him. Amen. Listen closely at the language of the scriptures. And behold, the Lord passed by. The Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. Great and strong wind rent the mountains. And tore them up, shook them up. Mm -hmm. But what? And break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. A lot of activity. Right. It broke in pieces the rocks in whose presence? Before the Lord. Oh, the Lord didn't know it. That's right. Another spirit was busy while the Lord was observing. That's right. It was done before the Lord. Before, that's right. He was just watching. Amen. Watching that spirit and watching his prophet. That's right. Saying, is he going to move? Amen. Because the prophet was already told, you go up there. Yes. Because I'm coming. Right. But uh, I want you to be able to identify me. That's right. You got to have knowledge to properly identify truth. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. You got to have knowledge in order to identify the truth. That's right. That's right. A woman that's a wise shopper. She goes shopping for washers and dryers and refrigerators and microwaves and toasters and the whatnots. <laughs> she want to look at that fine writing. Oh, yes. When a company come to sell you insurance, you got to search around, but then you got to ask questions. Mm -hmm. You got to look at the fine writing. That's right. If you can't see it, pull out some helpers. <laughs> Why? You don't want to be duped, con later on. Amen. Before you declare loyalty yeah. to something, oh, yeah. Jesus said they error because they don't know the scriptures. the scriptures. Nor the power of God. Going to a religious building with a Bible under your arm don't mean nothing. No. Do you understand what's under your arm? That's right. Can you get and decipher and explain and interpret the book you carry in? That's right. The devil know that most church people are ignorant. Ignorant. To the book. Oh, yes. That's why he can con you. That's right. That's why he can duke you. Oh, yeah. That's why he can lie to you mm -hmm. and give you a hype and get you all revved up. Yeah. The happier you get, the more loose your wallet get. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. But you don't ask no questions. Mm -hmm. hmm. Like I often say to news journalist Pierce Morgan, when he questioned mm -hmm. Joel Austin 
about homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Pierce Morgan asked him, is it wrong according to the Bible? Yeah. Joel Austin, the cotton candy preacher. Yeah. He just said, well, well, I he didn't know it's neither here or there. <laughs> That's right. Pierce Morgan said, listen, according to the Bible, mm -hmm. homosexuality is wrong. Do you agree with that? He said, well, I, I, I have friends that are homosexual. Right then he confessed he's of the devil. That's right. Right then. Right then. Amen. Right then. Amen. Because a man that's a real man don't run with homosexuals. No, they don't. No way. A man that's not an alcoholic don't hang with drunks. That's right. A man that's not a racist don't hang with bigots. Amen. That's right. A man of God don't have friends that men lay with men that men speak out against it. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go the ahead. word said you can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. When you truly walk with God, it brings about separation. Separation. Amen. Friends may not understand you. Yeah. But being that I want to walk with God now, my behavior starts to change. That's right. Huh? Amen. Don't go to the same clubs no more. No. Start to change. Oh, yes. I ain't smoking no more. Mm -hmm. Why? Start to change. Yeah. No more liquor. Amen. No more shooting pool. Yeah. No more rolling dice. Oh, yeah. Why? Starting to change. change. There is no such thing as a Christian homosexual. <laughs> no such thing. A Christian crackhead. My Lord. I shoot crack in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord. Have you noticed they use the word Christian to attach to anything? Anything. There's a gay parade going on here now in Harrisburg. Oh. And I guarantee you that a large percentage would say they're Christians. Christians. A man with a dress on. My a Lord. man with lipstick, a man with a wig, a man with makeup on his face. And some of you men that's in here get offended, get offended because your brothers it. are like this, your daddies is like this, your uncles is like this, right. and you are like this on the down low. That's right. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Anytime anybody got in mind to truly serve God, the first thing that God does with us mm -hmm. is bring about a demolition crew. Yes, he will. He give the prophets. That's right. And the apostles. And, the apostles. and said, destroy them. That's right. You go to the word. Go ahead. All these scriptures is against your character. Go ahead. Against your conduct. Mm. Against how you think. Amen. Against what you want to do. Go ahead. And God say, now surrender. Yeah. Give me your will. That's it. Lord, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do? Give me your mind. Give me your heart. That's right. Give me your hands. Give me your head. Amen. Give me the members of your body. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go to God. Go ahead. God, God is calling for the whole you. That's it. Why you? What you think it means? Hallelujah. You're not your own. Hallelujah. You're bought with the price. With the price. You don't belong to yourself. That's right. You belong to the Most High. Amen. Come on, let's finish up, Elijah. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen. And behold, the Lord passed by. The Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. And? And break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. What else? But the Lord was not in the wind. But yet he passed by. Passed by. And all this activity took place. Mm -hmm. But the Lord wasn't in it. And after the wind. After the wind. An earthquake. Oh. Amen. 
There was a lot of activity going on mm -hmm. to seek in the pro. What was the devil objective? I want to seek and I move this man of God. That's right. See, because Elijah had knowledge, mm -hmm. he was able to distinguish what's God mm -hmm. and what was not. That's right. The purpose of the Truth of God telecast, if you watch it, I promise you, you will learn more by the telecast than all your years mm -hmm. going to church. Amen. God sent this preacher to open your eyes. Open your eyes. Turn you from darkness to light. That's right. From the power of Satan unto God. That's it. It's a beautiful thing when a blind man's eyes come open. Oh, yeah. When a blind woman's eyes come open. That's right. Jesus said, Blessed are your eyes. For they see. For now, they see. They see. When your understanding come open. Mm -hmm. The opening of an understanding brings about mixed emotion. Yeah. It brings joy and anger. That's true. You're joyful because now you understand. Mm -hmm. You're angry because you look at the time you waste and the years you were being robbed. That's right. And the amount of lies you was being told. Amen. Here you were sincere mm -hmm. and loyal. Mm -hmm. You think some of the things I preach, these men don't know? A lot of them Love. know it. Lot but because them. it won't make them money, right. because they can't get rich, because right. they can't get a mansion or a car as a result of it, they say, I won't preach it. Won't preach it. That's right. So they'd rather give you a bunch of trash. That's right. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor, you own the good food. <laughs> My Lord. My Lord. They'd rather tell you, get up. And when I count the three, mm. stomp on the floor. Right. We're going to stomp on the devil's head. The devil don't feel that. No, no, no. Go ahead. Gimmicks, Gimmicks, schemes. Mm -hmm. Why, if any of us is from the hood along with myself, mm. we all know what a hustle is. That's right. You cannot deny the fact church is the biggest hustle, biggest hustle. in the world. Amen. Go ahead. Man. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Listen. And after the wind and earthquake. After the wind. Now the devil come along and brought an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. But the Lord didn't do it. That's right. What else? And after the earthquake. After the earthquake. A fire. Look at the devil was busy. Amen. A fire. But the Lord was a not. A form mm -hmm. of anointing. A form. That's right. Fire came. That's right. But what was the result? But the Lord was not in the fire. Brothers and sisters, mm. the activity that is going on, yeah. can you differentiate? Can you distinguish mm -hmm. whether God is in it, in it or is it the moving of the devil? That's it. The preacher that is in the pulpit with a written out text. That's right. And then he loses pages and then just blood out of tongue. Uh, <laughs> That's right. How can these men like Robert Tilton mm. get on television mm. for one and two and three hours mm. and beg you for money? Beg you for money. And then tell you, wait a minute, wait a minute, here it come, here it come. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. If, if you didn't understand, the Lord just said 50,000, 50,000. <laughs> That's right. 50, there it is again. There it is 50, again. 50,000. You That's sucker. It. Amen. Go ahead, brother. You're being duped. Oh, yes. It shows you how men don't fear God. That's right. That they will use God to rob the world. That's right. Steal my words. And we, as money lovers, yeah. we want the money so bad. I have seen preachers hmm. tell the viewing audience, get a piece of paper, trace your hand. Yes, they will. Cut it out and send it to me. That's right. He said, when I get it, I'm going to put my hand yeah. on your hand. Yeah. And we're going to touch, touch and agree. And agree. <laughs> That's right. My Lord. And we fall for this gimmick. Yeah. The center of church 
supposed to be God. The nucleus of the spiritual universe That's right. yeah. is God. That's right. When God is absent from church, hmm. that church is not a church. It's not a church. When you take God out of religion, mm -hmm. then that religion is founded upon men's ideology. That's right. We contradict strongly men's ideas. That's right. Because the Lord says, my thoughts is not yours. Not yours. Listen. And after the earthquake, a fire. A fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. The Lord wasn't in that. And after the fire, a still small voice. Uh -oh. God came to the prophet in a way that people wouldn't expect. That's right. Have you noticed all the other activity represent moving of power? Right. So God come in an unpredictable manner. That's right. All this power, hmm. but he come softly. Softly. Tenderly. That's right. Because when you say God, you're looking at the shaking of the earth, the moving of the universe, and all this. And God know the way the colonel mind think. Oh, yeah. So a devil come like that to imitate God, and God come smoothly. That's right. Calmly. Calmly. A small, still, still small voice. A small, yet patient, oh, yeah. yet strong, oh, yeah. yet stern, mm -hmm. piercing voice. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh -huh. And it was so when and he, it was so when Elijah heard when it, the prophet heard it that he wrapped his face now in his mantle. Busy. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, in the church, in the mosque, mm -hmm. in the synagogue, mm -hmm. you supposed to hear God. Hear God. How do we hear God? If the message contradicts this book, yeah. you ain't hearing God. No, no. It doesn't matter if the man hype you up and you break dance. That's right. All this religious trash, Christian rappers. Mm. Isn't it somehow these rappers would make videos cussing? <laughs> Half naked girls? Yeah. Talking about how they want to murder and rob and then get an award and say, Jesus made it possible. Jesus made it possible. I want to thank Jesus today. What kind of bundle of trash is that? That's right. Go ahead, brother. They want to incorporate Jesus. Yeah. And everything. And everything. So the man that done divorced his wife <laughs> and got another. Here, say the Lord did that. The Lord did that. But then when that don't work out and he get a third one, mm -hmm. he said the Lord did that. Well, did the Lord make a mistake twice? My Lord. My Lord. Do you see the lies? Mm -hmm. Man and woman live together, not married. They say the Lord put us together. Yeah. And we didn't have to get married because when we had sex, that sealed the marriage. That's it. No, that sealed your fornicated. That's it. That's all that was. That's Do you see how they try to manipulate the scripture mm -hmm. to make sin acceptable? Right. They want to downplay sin and alleviate the strength of it. To make it fair seeming. That's right. There is a way. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. You that are here, you that are watching, question the way you're in. Question it. Look right. at it. Right. Look at the women that is in the pulpits of your church. That's right. And ask yourself, why are they up there? Why are they there? Why are they up there? They up Who put them up there? Amen. Do you find a woman preacher in here? No. I'm going. Someone said Mary preached the first message. You was a liar. This didn't say it. No. It never said Mary preached to nobody. No, it didn't. She was Jesus' mama, but she was not Jesus' preacher. That's right. That's right. 
So where did this come from? Where did mm -hmm. Deaconess, women deacons, who told you? Who told you? Sister? Mm. From the book that you will be a deacon. I don't care what your pastor said. That's right. Where did God tell you? Where did God say? A homosexual church. A right. homosexual synagogue. Amen. A homosexual mosque. Who gave you the right? Yeah. The set up a dirty mosque. That's right. What kind of synagogue is it? Give me the book of Revelation. Book of Revelation. Amen. Give me the book of Revelation. Amen. Go ahead, brother. The Apostle John will tell us what kind mm -hmm. of synagogue this is. Mm -hmm. See, synagogue represents house of God. That's right. But you got a house of God and you got the house of Baal. You got the church of God and you got the church of the devil. That's right. The Apostle John teaches us about the synagogues of Satan. Satan. That's right. Synagogue of Satan. House of the devil. In Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Listen. I know thy works. Give chapter and verse again. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. What did God say? I know thy works. All right, viewers, and you that are here, God know what's going on in every religious place. That's right. You can't duck and hide. I don't care who you are. That's God right. knows. That's right. God said, I know what you're doing. I know thy works. I know what you're doing. And tribulation. And I know what you're dealing with. And poverty. And poverty. But thou art rich. But you're rich. And I know Hold the... it. Mm -hmm. That's not a prosperity plan. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I know your poverty. Poverty. But thou art rich. But you're rich. What do you mean? I know your spiritual state of being. Right. Spiritually, that's right. I know your condition. That's it. You may be poor, mm -hmm. but there's a rich teaching among you. That's it. To elevate you. That's right. Don't you hear the book says about Jesus for our sake? Mm -hmm. He became poor. Became poor. That we, through his poverty, right, might be rich. That's right. That's right. I'm a rich man. Go ahead, brother. Not in houses. No. Not in land. Mm -hmm. Not in a bankroll. Right. I'm not rich that way. That's right. But I have the knowledge of the ancient one. That's right. Now, mm. what do you think would outlast? Mm. Your money or wisdom? Wisdom. Wisdom excel folly. folly. That's right. As light do of darkness. That's right. Listen. I know thy works and tribulation. I know thy works and tribulation. And poverty. Poverty. But thou art rich. Yet you're rich. And I know the blasphemy. I know the blasphemy. Of them which say they are Jews. Of them that say they are God's people. And are not. And they are not. But are the synagogue of Satan. Amen. Let's go to work. Go to work. Blasphemy of them that say they, they are, are Jews. Jews. Mm -hmm. It's beyond an outward Jew. Beyond that. Blasphemy of them that say they are Jews, Jews. meaning those that profess to be the people of God. That's right. But they are the synagogue of Satan. Of Satan. A homosexual cannot be a Christian. No. Cannot be. Not being a homosexual yeah. at the same time. No way. No way. You can't stroke men. Go ahead, brother. You can't marry men. Go ahead. And say you of God. That's right. Can't be done. No. You can't say, Bill can't say God gave him Bob. <laughs> no way. Can't say that. Am I right, I say? That's right. Bill cannot say that God gave me Bob. No. And me, uh, me and Bob are lovers. No way. No, no. Sally cannot say that God gave her Ruth mm -hmm. 
Naomi couldn't say God gave her Ruth and they got married. No way. No. No. No, no. When two men and two women get married mm -hmm. and say they're Christian, mm -hmm. for once, let me enlighten you. Go ahead, brother. And I want everyone watching and listening Go ahead. around the world. Mm -hmm. Every man mm -hmm. that married a man, mm -hmm. every woman that say you married a woman, right. you are not married. No way. No, no. You're not married. You're not married. You're not married. No, no. No. God established marriage, mm -hmm. not Barack. That's right. That's right. God set it up. That's right. Now, some of you parents that are watching, you would take great offense at this preaching because you have homosexuals in your house. Mm -hmm. Some of you, your daughters are like this, your sons are like this, your daddy is like this, your uncle is like this, your mm -hmm. grandmama's like this, your aunt is like this, your niece is like this, your nephew is like this, your slap happy grandpappy is like this. That's right. And your pastor's like this. And the pastor. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. So you take great offense. Go ahead. Well, you talking about my son. I most certainly am. That's right. You talking about my mama. I sure am. Oh, yes. When it come to God, who are you? Who are you? Either you're straight or you're crooked. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. John the Apostle mm -hmm. said what? Which say they are Jews. They say they are the children of God. And are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. A Christian man with a woman dress on, wearing makeup, wearing makeup. parading down the street. Amen. <laughs> Abomination. What kind of ignorance is this? My Lord. And people get offended because we speak so strong against it. Mm -hmm. I'm not a gay basher. Mm -hmm. I'm a sin killer. That's it. That's it. That's what I am. That's it. Every real man of God that walked earth. That's right. Is a sin killer. Killer. Amen. He attacked the deeds. That's it. Of the unrighteous. That's right. That's right. Doesn't matter if it's in your household. No, no. Your household, my household, nobody household Nobody's. is exempted. That's right. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old troublemaker? Which say they are Jews. They say they are Jews. And are not. They're not. But are the synagogue of Satan. So you got synagogues, you got one of the largest synagogues in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. a gay synagogue. You got mosque. The opening prayer of the Quran is called the Al Fataha. Mm -hmm. There is a gay organization that took on the name of the opening prayer, the title of it, and called them the Al Fataha Homosexual Muslims. My Lord, my Lord. Mm. Baptist Homosexual Churches. My Lord. Apostolic mm. homosexual churches. Oh, yes. Pentecostal mm. homosexual churches. Amen. Look at the gospel singing industry. Look at it. Look at you it. may not like what I'm saying, but you watch BET. Go ahead. Look at it. Go ahead. Men lit shining, shining. like they got armor all on it. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Men leading choirs. Go ahead. More feminine than the women on the choir. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And use patronizing. How can you buy tickets My Lord. to a gospel show mm -hmm. to look at gospel singing dykes? Amen. Gospel singing homosexuals. Go ahead. And you say you're Christians? My Lord. I you are a liar. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. I had someone write me. 
and ask me a question about Tyler Perry's mm. comedy skits. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Give me the book of Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Amen. Go ahead, man. See, me personally, I don't care who you are. No. You can sue me. I ain't got nothing to give you. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. God. God. And entertainment don't mix. That's right. Let me say it again. God and entertainment don't mix. That's right. If you knew the Bible, you would not buy a ticket to see such garbage. That's right. But again, we are ignorant church going Bible carrying suckers. Oh, yes. Let's see what God says mm -hmm. about this madness. In Deuteronomy chapter 22 and at verse 5. Listen. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You got women getting dressed up like men. Yeah. Want to wear pants like a man? Yeah. If you don't know no better woman, I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. It's only because you don't have no teaching. That's right. But you want to wear low ride jeans showing where your backside begins? Yeah. And a thong hanging out of that? Amen. With a tattoo over the separation of your backside? <laughs> Go ahead. With no shame? No shame. You want to wear a skirt or a dress shorter than my jacket? Oh, yeah. With no shame? That's right. You want to put a tattoo on your breast? Mm-hmm. And then wear something low to show your cleavage? Yeah. Then when a the man look at your breasts and sisters, you want to get angry, then, then cover up your turkey. That's right. You're going to show it, show and it. then want to get upset when a man look at it. That's right. What you showing so much of it for? Amen. And you men who want to get upset with other men because they looking at your woman. Yeah. Don't get upset with him. You get upset with her. You let her come out half naked. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The book says. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. God said for a man, don't put on woman's clothes. How do God feel about a man putting on women's clothes? For all that do so. No, they're a movie star. All that do so. Democrat. All that do so. Republican. All that do so. Sinner. All that do so. Entertainer. All that do so. Musician. All that do so. They're putting on a play. All that do so. All that do it. Are abomination. Unto the Lord thy God. Tyler Perry is committing abomination. abomination. That's right. All that do so. Go ahead. Go ahead. A grown man. Mm. Preach it, brother. Put on a wig to look like a woman. That's right. Fake breasts to look like a woman. That's right. Fake hips to look like a woman. Amen. All that do so. Make mockery. Mm. And if you look at all his plays and movies, they always sent around somebody getting a new man and remarrying while the first wife or Still first living. husband is living. In other words, condoning divorce and justifying adultery. That's right. That's right. Amen. While he run around like a woman, committing every time he step his feet in those stockings. My Lord. He's pulling up. Your abomination. Abomination. That's right. Every time he put on that fake woman suit. Go ahead. He's putting on. Abomination. Abomination. Yeah. Every time his makeup artist paint his lips. 
Yeah. Abomination, Abomination of his mouth. Right. Fake eyelashes. That's right. Abomination. That's right. Powder puff. Amen. Abomination. Yes. Slap the wig on. Mm. Abomination. Abomination. God said, All everybody that do, so. that do it. All that do so. Talk to me. Are abomination. All that do so. All that do so. God said it. All that do so. When movie stars, mm. men, yes. get dressed like women. Go ahead. It's an abomination. An abomination. You become rich mm. by blasphemy. That's right. And when you pay tickets to see it and you know what's going on, you are contributing to blasphemy. That's right. When you buy a DVD and you know it's on there, you contribute to blasphemy. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Not he that doeth the wrong. Go ahead. But he that have pleasure. Them that do it. And them that do it. What's funny about a grown man dressed like a woman? Amen. Abomination. Since when did abomination. Abomination. abomination become a joke? That's right. You can be damned for such. Go ahead. Go ahead. But because the Bible now has become a book of jokes. That's true. The devil know how to turn the minds of people. That's right. Make the Bible a book of jokes. That's right. So now stand up comedians. Crack jokes, crack jokes about, about the Bible. That's right. Everybody falling out laughing. Laughing. But the great judge is coming. Yes. Who's gonna laugh? Go ahead. When the judge come. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Won't be funny then. Won't be funny. When one foot is on the clouds. Yes. And the other is on the sea. That's right. And he tell the wind, stand still. Yes. The day of the Lord Go ahead. will come. It's, it's coming. It's All coming. the fun mm. is going out of the earth. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Amen. Are well, you listening to the old troublemaker? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. This is God talking. That's right. Not Geno Jennings. No. Why would you want your son see a man dressed like a woman? Go ahead. Why would you want your baby? See a man dressed like a woman. Go ahead. That's planting a subliminal message in their mind. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Next thing you know, you got your little son mm -hmm. putting on your shoes yeah. and your wig. Yeah. Look, mommy, Look I'm, mommy, I'm Tyler Perry. That's right. Dang, cute. Go ahead. He can grow up and become a cross dresser. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Didn't I tell you God's way? Go ahead. It's not like ours. It's not like ours. Go ahead. What's funny to us? Yes. It's a cuss to God's eyes. Amen. What's a joke to us? Yes. It's abomination, abomination. to God. That's right. When a man in Hollywood mm. get dressed like a woman, mm. it's an abomination. Abomination. Your children don't get in school plays. Right. Where the boy get dressed like a girl. That's right. Or the girl get dressed like a boy. Amen. Or put on, or the girl put on boy's apparel, or the boy put on girl's apparel. No! That's right. If you don't dress your children like that at home, don't you dare let some cheap school district dress them up like that to entertain them. Go ahead. This is old-fashioned preaching. Oh, yeah. Mm. There is a way. Is a way. Which seemeth right unto a man. And you know what people will say? Pastor Jennings is too radical. And fools make a mock at sin. Do you hear this? In Proverbs 14 and verse 9. Proverbs 14 and 9 says. Fools what? make a mock. Who do it? Fools. Who? Fools. Who? Fools. But they're millionaires. Fools. They got Emmys. Fools. Grammys. Fools. Made five million that year. Fools. 
Got a Bentley. Fools. Maybach. Fools. Rolls. Fools. Ferrari. Fools. Porsche. Fools. Got a mansion. Fools. Yacht. Fools. On Time Magazine. Fools. In Forbes. Fools. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Got a Swiss bank account. Fools. Bank account in the Cayman Islands. Fools. In the Bahamas. Fools. They white, fools, black, fools, brown, fools, yellow, fools, short, fools, fat, fools, tall, fools. That's right. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Mm. Regardless that this is in the Bible, mm. you know what the arrogance say? Mm -hmm. I don't see nothing wrong with it. That's... That's just his interpretation. <laughs> That's right. That's what they'll say. How much plainer is it written? Amen. Read Deuteronomy again. Back in Deuteronomy 22 and 5. How the much plainer is it written? The woman shall it's not. It's just as plain as when our parents told us, if I got to talk to you again, I'm going to beat your behind. That's right. We didn't go to our mother and father and say, please explain that to us. <laughs> That's right. Will you please let it, what is that revelation? What does that mean? That's right. We understood it right away. Right away. So when people hear scriptures that hit them right to the heart, right it. then we become a volunteer nut. That's right. Right then we just, oh, I, 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 don't, understand I don't understand that. That, that really didn't mean that. So you got to read between the lines. That's right. Do you hear it? In Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What is that you don't get? Mm -hmm. You don't go putting on your husband clothes. That's it. That's it. What is it you don't get about that? That's right. What else? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What man don't understand that? Raise your hand. Mm. What man in here don't know what it means not to put on the clothes of a, woman? of a woman? What man don't understand it? Raise your hand and show your ignorance and embarrass yourself. <laughs> That's right. Come on. Go because ahead. I want the camera to zoom in on you. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Can you imagine Pastor Jennings come up one day in a meeting in a large crowd like this uh -huh. and I come from the side door on with my wife pumps and her hat and, and, and her skirt or dress and got her pocketbook coming up. <laughs> My Lord. Dan may be up speaking French, a new song, Nola Jogo Cree. The moment he see me, a new, a new show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. Could you blame him? No. Now, if I came in like that, some of you is so ignorant, you still will follow me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Some of you is just that dumb, you still will follow me. That's right. Still follow me. <laughs> I wouldn't follow myself. <laughs> Because right then, that means get away from that man. Right then. That's right. Right then. I say that to show you how ignorant the human family has become. God has spoken. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. You don't ignore God for entertainment. That's right. Go ahead, man. The Lord says, I'm coming as a thief in the night. Yes. What thief calls you when he comes? Right. He just come. That's, that's right. You may be sitting up at one of them plays, falling out laughing. Falling out. All of a sudden, all this commotion is in the streets. Mm. And you come out and look up, there's God. Yes. And all these trillions of bodies is defying gravitational pull. Yeah. Coming up out of the graves. Some graves that buildings are built upon. That's right. But you was at the wrong place at the wrong time, watching the wrong thing, yeah. having fun, having indulging fun. in the wrong event. The Lord said, That's right. be ye also ready. Also ready. For me to be ready, I got to take my soul sincerely. That's right. That's right, bro. Go ahead. I got to be sincere enough that if my wife don't want to be saved, 
I'm going. Yeah. If my husband don't want to be saved, I'm going. That's right. If my children reject me, I'm going. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. When that woman tell you, look, you can believe that crazy man if you want. <laughs> and he tell her, look, baby, everything he told you is in the Bible. Mm. And then she say the ultimate thing. I don't care if it is. Yes. You ain't getting no more of this stuff. Mm. If you go there, then you and your stuff are stuff in hell. Yes. Woman, go ahead, man. your womb. Don't put enough heat on a man equal to hell. No, no. No way. No. He told Abraham, get out from among your Kendrick. Yeah. Go ahead. You love from the heart, but you don't love no man or no woman with all, all your heart. heart. That's right. The only one you love with all your heart is God. That's right. Huh? Go ahead. You love from the heart. That's it. But the only one that you give all your heart to is the Lord. That's right. Why is it like that? That's right. Because the man may backslide. Yeah. But if he got all your heart, yeah. you gonna run out there with him. with him. That's right. The woman may backslide. Mm. And if she got all your heart, you're going to run out there with her. Your children may turn on God. Yes. But if they got all your heart, they're going to pull you out the church. But if God have all your heart, all your heart. let the winds blow. Go ahead. Let the rocks rain. Go ahead. Let the foundations of the deep be broken. Go ahead, brother. God Go ahead. is faithful. Yes. I'm staying with God, Jack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, man. Anybody that have in mind to stay with God, stay with God. you got to pay a price. Oh, yeah. It ain't easy. No, it's not. He never said it would be. No. Hmm. Anybody got in mind to walk with God, you got to give up something. And you may have to give up somebody. Yes. To walk with God, you got to give up that second wife. That's right. You know her husband's still living. That's right. Because you and her husband grew up together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eh? Go ahead. Thank God, and he divorced her. Mm -hmm. And now you got her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. You got to give her up. Got to give her up. Or you ain't getting into the kingdom of God. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I've never been married before, but she is married. That means you living in fornication and she's living in adultery because she got the living companion. That's right. In other words, you got another man's tire. Another man's. That you're rolling on. Mm. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. <laughs> That's right. Anyone that got in mind to be right, yeah. you got to surrender. Oh, yes. You got to come out the Masonic Hall. Come out, come out. Come out. Prestige ain't worth trash. No. To be a Mason, you got to roll up one pants leg, mm -hmm. tear the shirt over your heart. Mm -hmm. And they bring you in a room with a bunch of fools. Yeah. They tell you you got to bring food to feed a goat, and there ain't no goat to feed. Yeah. Blind for you. Then a bunch of men making a bunch of noise and hitting you. Mm -hmm. First they put marbles out. Mm. White marbles and a black marble. Mm -hmm. Get a black marble, you're blackballed. Right. Can't be one. <laughs> Get white marbles, you can be one. <laughs> You get at a certain level of masonry, you get rid of the Bible. My Lord. And pick up the Quran. My Lord. You gotta take a vow of secrecy. Mm -hmm. That you never expose the craft. Mm. And if you expose the craft, you agree to have your tongue cut out or snatched out and your heart cut out. My Lord. I expose all the craft I want. The craft, I dare you to lay a hand on me. That's right. 
I dare you to do it, and I want you to do it. That's right. I'm a very easy man to find. Amen. You see, I'm a real Mason. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. It ain't got nothing to do with Herman. No. It ain't got nothing to do with some cheap lion's paw. No, no. 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 I'm a real Mason. That's right. This is too deep for the Masonic Hall. It's too deep for them. Every true man of God is a real Mason. That's right. He's a craftsman. A craftsman. He's a layer of divine brick. That's right. Go he ahead. worked for a master builder. Go ahead. For the book says one mm -hmm. is your master. One is your master. Even Christ. That's right. Peter called the church and said, you as lively stones. That's right. Build so up. the preacher are given tools. Yes. He given a hammer mm -hmm. that breaks rocks and pieces. Oh, yeah. His wisdom is a divine chisel. Go ahead. That cut and carves women and shape men. Go ahead. To be the people of God. That's it. Go ahead. He used a plumb line, plumb line. Go ahead. in the midst of his building. Go ahead, brother. God mm -hmm. is his architect. That's right. This is bigger than Solomon's temple. Oh, yes. Solomon's temple fell apart. That's right. God's temple is eternal. That's right. In the heavens. Go ahead, brother. I'm a divine mason. Oh, yes. I'm a divine builder. Mm -hmm. I was given an axe. And God says, lay that the roots. Lay that the roots. I was given a hammer. Yeah. Break rocks in pieces, mean it breaks the stubborn of the world. That's right. Breaks your stubborn mind. That's it. You see, you got to fall on this stone. Yes. What you mean? Submit the hardness. That's it. Submit the discipline. Mm -hmm. Submit the rough preaching. Rough preaching. Then you'll be broken. That's right. But if you fall on the stone, mm -hmm. or the stone fall, fall on, on you, you it's powder. gonna grind you to powder. That's right. Go ahead, brother. So Masons don't know what the Masonic is. No, 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 no. You talk about a scale, mm -hmm. a compass? compass. Do you know what direction God come from? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. God said, I Go ahead. come from Teman. How can he come from somewhere where he is everywhere? That's right. Go ahead, brother. He said, God come from Teman. Go ahead. The Holy One from Mount Paran. From Mount Paran. Yeah. From his mouth. Come as a two-edged sword. That's right. And his eyes Go ahead. is as a flame of fire. fire. From his hands Go ahead. goeth forth horns. Go ahead. And when he walk upon the waters. Go ahead. You think a mason is wearing white gloves? White gloves. And a little miniaturized apron? That's right. You don't know what it is. No, no. A mason is a divine man of God. That's it. Who's given tools from heaven. That's right. To cut and shape the hearts of the world. That's right. And build a people Go ahead. for God. Amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. A lion's paw? No. Oh, no. It's the lion Go ahead. of the tribe Judah. of Judah. Oh, yes. And the root of David. That's it. That's it. Go you ahead. build it on Solomon? Mm. That's weak. That's weak. One that is sweating. The scripture says mm. one greater than Solomon, Solomon is, here. is here. That's right. Solomon ain't no good. Oh, no. One greater than Solomon. It's here. Masonry. Mm. I'm a divine masonry. Every house is built by some man. Do you hear this? In Hebrews chapter 3 and at verse 4. Oh, this is so sweet. Every house. Every house. Is built by some man. Is built by some man. But he that built all things. He that built everything. Is God. No, it's Solomon. Is God. Herman Mabliff. Is God. Amen. Mm. Our God is God. That's right. That's right. So Solomon was limited. Oh, yeah. Not only that, he ran out of his wits. Yes, he did. For women. For women. Hmm. Solomon, before he died, his heart 
turned against God. Turned against God. And he became polytheistic. Right. Yes, he did. An idolater. That's right. The true architect, mm -hmm. the true designer of people hmm. is God. It's God. That's right. So all these lodges and all that stuff won't prevail. No. You throw on black suits, white shirt, and black tie and feel important. <laughs> but then you die. That's and a it. bunch of men come in marching. That's right. <laughs> Just marching. <laughs> Looking like a bunch of stooges. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. March forward and slide back. <laughs> Everybody's doing the curly. Right. And then they ring a little bell over you. Yeah. Say a few words. Yeah, say some words. But you died without God. Yes. Lord. Then they have a cornerstone there. Mm -hmm. The chief cornerstone is God. It's God. That's right. That little big rock on the ground. Amen. David said, "Who is the rock?" Mm -hmm. Saving our, Saving our God. God. Mm -hmm. And then it says the rock that followed them. Mm -hmm. That's Christ. That's Christ. That's Christ. Mm. Do you get what I'm telling you? Go ahead. There is a way. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. get out the seem right way. Seem right. Know what you're doing. That's right. Don't be afraid to ask questions. That's right. Don't be afraid to question your preacher. Yeah. After he's done performing that morning, <laughs> when he go to his office, <laughs> Reverend Lucifer, <laughs> please show us in the Bible. Please show us. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Question your teaching. That's right. One of the biggest lies is the belief I'm going to heaven anyhow. You lost your mind. Do you know how hard it is to go back with the Lord? It is more easier and convenient to go to hell. Because if I commit one wrong, I'm lost. Lost. If you look at the Garden of Eden, there was not a list of things that Adam done when he was pulled out. No. There wasn't a list. One thing. One thing. God plainly told him, touch not the tree of the knowledge, good and evil, the day you eat thereof, you shall die. That's right. He disobeyed that, and what happened? Put Driven out. out the garden. Put out. In the fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, it's plainly written that the Lord going to present unto himself the glorious church, not having what? A wow. spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy so that means that anybody who goes back with God lifestyle has to be equal to Jesus my Lord and you know what the book says about him he knew no sin no sin so I don't say wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Pastor Jennings are you trying to tell me I have to be perfect the word perfect just simply means complete complete it's impossible to live perfect. That ain't what the book says. Be ye therefore perfect. Do you hear what the Bible says? In Matthew 5 and at verse 48. Jesus said. Be ye therefore perfect. Be ye therefore complete. Even as your father which is in heaven. Even as God that's in heaven. Is perfect. That simply means one masters the teaching of Jesus that's through right. the act of obedience. That's it. That's all it means. That's right. And what happened is, you have to go against your normal lifestyle. Yeah. Anything that is in our life or of our life that God is against. That's it. One must practice to be, you know, to abstain from your life. That's it. Jesus used it this term. Hate your own life. Hate your own life. You know we don't feel like doing that. And because we don't feel like doing it, God said, yeah, I want you to hate your own life. Hate your own life. Hating your own life is going against the grain. That's tough. Oh, yes. But because we want to be right, we make an effort. That's right. And we make an attempt to strive gradually, evolving That's around right. the teachings of God. Mm -hmm. Don't think that the knowledge of God you will master in one day. No way. For you have to take your time 
and let it create you into the man mm -hmm. and into the woman that God wants you to be. Get knowledge, you that are watching. Question your religion. Evaluate it. Amen. See where it doesn't exist. Not in the, con the Library of Congress, right. no. but in the scriptures. That's right. The oldest mind in the universe hmm. is the mind of God. Oh, yes. The most sufficient mind in the universe is the mind of God. That's right. The greatest and the perfect mind. The only mind that have never been contaminated. That's right. Even when contamination was around. It was around. For Satan was in heaven. Oh, yes. But he didn't contaminate God. That's right. The best mind, the greatest mind, is the mind of God. Now, the mind of God tell you, mm -hmm. you need to be born again. You need to be born again. Because you're not right. That's right. The, the mind of God tells you, you need to repent of your sins. Amen. Everybody Amen. need to be sorry about their sins. Everybody. Everybody. You can't truly serve God and you, you ain't sorry about your sins. No. I don't mean run across the street to St. Jonathan Mary Catholic Church for boys. <laughs> That's right. Not there. No way. Because no boy will be safe there. That's right. I ain't talking about that. No way. Mm -mm. You confess to the priest. The priest should be confessing to you. <laughs> How he been watching you all these years. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. <laughs> Repent of your Amen. sins. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor Jenny, what did I do? I don't remember anything I'd done. Nothing. You that much of a fool that you would even believe that? That's right. Repent, Repent. of your sins. Amen. That's it. The word of God says in Acts 2 38 on the day of Pentecost, mm -hmm. Peter preached the word of God with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Peter didn't tell you to do what these preachers tell you to do today? No. What did the apostle Peter say? Rep what did the real apostle say? Repent. No. Join the church. Repent. Bow your head and raise your old hands and accept Christ where you sit at. Repent. No, the hour of decision. Repent. Pray or send us prayer. Repent. Cast marbles. Repent. Shoot dice. Repent. Fill beads. Repent. Say a rosary to Mary. Repent. <laughs> Pray to Father Abraham. Repent. Amen. Send an offering. Repent. So seed. Repent. That's right. Do you hear? Do you hear? That's it. Any preacher on television that don't tell you to do this, mm -hmm. you can look at any preacher you want. Any one of them. And put your hand on the television. Yep. And close your eyes mm -hmm. and repeat after him. Right. I'm a sinner. Wash me. Cleanse me till I'm white as snow. <laughs> then open your eyes. Then the preacher say, you say, my you friend, mm -hmm. listen. You close your eyes back and tell him, you're the liar. <laughs> That's, right. That's it, That's it, That's the truth. That's the truth. That's right. You ain't no... <laughs> That's right. You ain't no more saved then than you are now. <laughs> Amen. Your, the preacher made a sucker out of you. Even did. though you're sincere. Right. But he playing with you. That's right. Any of you watching, any of you here in the midst of these hundreds, if any of you here ever went to any church and the preacher said, if you want to be a Christian today, the church doors is open, I give you a home. And you came in the front where there was a bunch of old drunken elders and That's you right. held all they had and all of you went through this sinner's prayer ritual, Go ahead. you ain't did nothing. Go ahead. You ain't, did nothing. You ain't safe. No. You've been conned. That's right. Even though you were serious. Yeah. You've been conned. That's true. Men and brethren, what shall we do? That's what I want to. Listen, what you going to do? Amen. You hear the message of holiness here in Harrisburg right now? Mm -hmm. You that are watching in Canada, what you going to do? Amen.
The word of God says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. This is written. Why don't all these preachers tell you this? Right. It's written. That's right. Whatsoever things are written aforetime time is written for our learning. Amen. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Hope. What did Jesus say through Peter? Peter said unto them, repent. 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 And what? And be baptized. Every one of you. How much of Harrisburg? Every one of you. How much of Harrisburg? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. All right, hold it, because some of you was baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. You still got baptized wrong. Still wrong. Well, Jesus said do that. He did not. No, he didn't. He said baptize in the, the name. name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Exactly. And the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost mm. is not Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Go ahead. Go if I ahead. tell you do something in my name, you ain't going to say father. I'm a father. Yeah. I'm a son. Mm -hmm. I'm a husband. Right. I'm a boxer. I'm a crippler. <laughs> I'm a preacher. I'm a fighter. That's right. If you do work for me and I sign the check, I ain't going to put on there, preacher. Preacher. Go to the bank. You ain't getting nothing. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Pastor Jenna, you, 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 they said they wouldn't cash it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I put father on there. Yeah. Well, thank Pastor Jenny. Go on back. No money. No money. Pastor Jenny, something is wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, maybe they don't know I'm married. I'll put husband on there. That's right. <laughs> Try it now. Try it now. Come on back. No money. Mm -hmm. Why? There ain't no name on there ain't yet. No name on there. <laughs> Pastor Jenny, maybe something wrong with the bank. <laughs> well... <laughs> I know I'm a son. I know I'm a husband. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't put son. Let me put son. son. Let me put all three of the titles I got. Yeah. I'll put it in order. Son, then I'll put husband, then I'll put father. Right. You know, and I'll write it big. Big. They can't miss it now. Mm. <laughs> Thank Pastor Jenny. Mm. Oh, the Lord work in mysterious ways. <laughs> Pastor Jenny, the check keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. That's right. I'll tell you what, let me just put my name, Gino Jennings. That's it. Get a call. Pastor Jennings, yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Pastor Jennings, I got my money. I have my money. <laughs> $3.50? <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Look closely at the teaching of Jesus in Matthew 28, 19. 19. Go ye therefore. He said, go ye therefore, teaching his disciples and telling them what to do. And teach all nations. That's what's missing. That's it. That's the teaching is missing. That's it. Teach everybody what? Baptizing them in the name of the Father. That word been overlooked. In mm -hmm. the name of. Mm -hmm. That lets you know one name one is name. in ownership of these titles. That's right. Name of, just like I own the title Father, Son, and Husband. Right. But my name is Geno Jennings. That's right. Geno Jennings tell you do something in his name. That's right. That's it. I am the owner of, of. these titles. That's right. Glory to God. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost wasn't mentioned. No, it wasn't. But obviously they knew it. Yes, they did. Because he told them, do it in the name of. Of. Now give me Luke 24, 47. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. This is after Jesus Christ was taken off the cross and laid in the grave where he stayed there three days and three nights. Mm -hmm. And the everlasting life got back in that body and quickened it and rose on the third day. And he said, all power is given unto me That's right. in heaven and in earth. And then he gave his apostles his instructions in Luke 24, 47. He says what? And that repentance. And listen, brothers, when you go out, this is what I want you to preach. And that repentance. I want you to repeat. Preach repentance and remission of sins and removing of sins should be preached How? in his name. How in his name? And where we want to start at among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. All right, let's take a step to Jerusalem. And in Acts 2 and at verse 38. Let's go right to Jerusalem. Amen. He said that repentance and remission of sins mm. should be preached 
In his name. In his name. That's right. Beginning. Among all nations, beginning where? At Jerusalem. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. Let's go right to Jerusalem. Acts 2 and verse 38. Where the apostles obey Jesus. Then Peter said in unto them. chapter and verse. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. This is the right way to be baptized. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent and be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of. That's right. The Father, Son, and Holy, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's the name of it. That's the name. If you've been baptized and the preacher just said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Mm hmm. You just got wet. Just got wet. He said, do it in the, the name. name of it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look how much of a hypocrite the preacher is. He'll take your money mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, he will. With no problem. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you the Lord just spoke to me. <laughs> There's $10,000 in the house in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. And Jesus Christ said he'll give it back to you 10,000 fold. <laughs> He, color my mama's side, you're going to buy me a Honda. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. But when it come down to baptism, baptism. he get dumb. Yeah. I baptize you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Jesus Holy ain't told you to do that. He said, do it in the name of it. The name. So for you to do it in the name of it, you got to know the name you of it. You got to know it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Peter said what? Peter said, uh, then Peter said unto them, repent, repent and be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what's the result? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Everybody in Harrisburg and every church under the sun. Amen. That have not obeyed the true words of Jesus. True words. When you're baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. the preacher not supposed to say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. He's supposed to call the name, the name of it. That's right. And the name of it is the name of Jesus, of Christ. Jesus Christ. That's it. When Saul was on the road to Damascus. Go ahead. When Saul was on the road to Damascus, a light shone from heaven mm -hmm. above the brightness of the sun. That's right. And Saul said, who art thou, Lord? Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. I'm Jesus. Oh, yes. Brother David says, know ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. He is God. He is God. Everybody that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you got to be baptized over. Over again. Your preacher lied to you. That's right. He didn't understand the scriptures. No. So that take me back to my question at the beginning of the message. Mm -hmm. How is it? He's holding a true book, mm -hmm. but lie come out of his mouth. That's right. You want to know how? Mm -hmm. Because he don't understand right. the very book that he holds. That's right. Don't understand. Same spirit that inspire men mm -hmm. to write this book have to get in a man mm -hmm. to preach from, the, from book the book and have to get in a man right. to properly explain the book. That's right. That's right. Repent and be baptized, Harris Bird, today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody here want to obey the scriptures and get it right? Get it right. And want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ today? Amen. Stand on your feet, Harris Bird. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. All of you, all of you that are standing today that did not stand last night, if you're standing today for the first time, you see that brother with his hand up over there? Walk over there to him while I'm speaking. Walk over there to him. Raise your stand up, brother James. Walk over there to him. Wonderful. They go and baptize. Those that stood up last night and today. And today. They gonna rack them all up. Amen. We already baptized some earlier today mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. And while they're getting things together, mm -hmm. 
everybody who stood up to be baptized, the moment prayer is over, we're going to ask all of you that want to be baptized to go straight in the lobby. Brother White, raise your hand. Move quickly. Bring the bus up. Load them up. And let's get ready. James, get ready. Brother Brian, get ready. Amen. You and James, go with them. Amen. And baptize them. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Get ready. Roll them up. Go ahead. Roll them out. Huh? Amen. Roll them up. Amen. And roll them out. Amen.